so much of my identity is in drawing. Because I draw, it shaped so much of my experience and so much of my life that I honestly can't imagine not. It's incredibly frustrating when I can't and it's incredibly uh, disheartening and it's kind of demoralising after a period of time when you can't express yourself or do it. Drawing adds to my life a sense of purpose, a sense of accomplishment. I think it helps me understand people, it helps me understand all kind of aspects of the fact that you're not the only person in the world. The reason why I do the, the linear drawings more than anything else, I think, is because I've always been interested in the basic illusion. The fact that it's it's not real. It's not it's not it's a flat bit of paper, but you can create that illusion of space. You can create that illusion of um, a solid object within that. If the drawing's right and it works, then I think people read all kinds of stuff into that depending on themselves. Um, I think you try and guide that as much as you can through the poses or the, the, you know, the body language or the expression. The important thing is getting the drawing right and that's the fundamental I think of what I do is just trying to draw. I draw with my foot because I, I clapped a vertebrae in my neck. Um, I was at university, um, I was studying and I woke up one morning and my arm was locked up and clawed. Um, I went in and out of hospital for several weeks, I had to defer a year of university and while I was away I, um, I found out I wouldn't be able to use my arms because they've actually got nerve damage in them. Because I'm fighting to control the pencil it makes it more alive somehow when it comes out, it's, it's a different response to the paper in, in the way the pencil behaves on it. With my hand you've got such control and you can control the a lot more the kind of finer details and the feathering and stuff with the pencil whereas it's kind of a no-nonsense way of drawing because you've got to be much more deliberate so it's a lot more direct. If I try and draw with my hand when I do, very rarely, it's kind of, it's, it's not the same line at all. I can't reproduce that quality. Drawings that I'm particularly proud of in my work. I think my best drawings are often very simple five, ten minute drawings of people that kind of capture something about them that isn't just the way they look, it's the space they occupy almost. The first one is a drawing of Chantal, my lovely lady, which was a five minute quick drawing on a bit of board where it was literally a central line only. It was the bare minimum within five minutes, directly drawn. The drawing really captured an essence of Chantal and the way that I feel about her, I suppose, the way that she is. Um, there is a kind of dreamy, directness to the drawing but her face is very absent she's thinking about something else it just created one of my absolute favorite drawings ever the quality of line and everything in it was just like yeah I'm proud of that one the second drawing the actual works called United We Fall and it's kind of a reinterpretation of a Dante theme of Inferno or, or isolated hells and the fact that we're all tormenting ourselves almost rather than being tormented by some external force. It's that sense of falling through life, falling through it all with no control. The inferno theme of a modernised Dante is something that's been prevalent throughout my entire life ever since I saw Rodin's Doors of Hell and, and um, Gustav Dorr's illustrations for the Inferno and Divine Comedy. I think the drawing itself I'm very proud of because I've, I've done very little of arranging figures. 
And I think for those ones, it's one of the few times that I've actually arranged a composition to, to flow around or control the viewing of it to try and get you to follow a certain path. But it, it ended up being one of my favourites just because it kind of worked. <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of worked. And they're big as well. I like working very big and they're like one metre 40 by 88 centimetres. They're, that's each. So they're, they're, it ends up being quite a big piece of work. And I do like that. I like having a presence to the drawings where they're big. Chantal and I um, collaborate quite often and I think some of those are my favourites as well. I mean, I do my drawing bit and then it's handed to her and she does her bit and that's, it completely alters everything. I never know what they're going to look like. And I think that surprise is nice. That kind of not knowing how it's going to look at the end is nice. There's a thing about artists never being happy with their work. And I don't think that's really true. I think artists can appreciate their own work. However, you're always aware of the compromise. And so you're always aware that it could be better, it could be more, it could be more accurate, finer, whatever it is. And I think for that reason, you're, you always have to do the next one. You always have to see if you can get it better. You always have to see if you can get it right. I can't imagine not drawing. I can't even begin to tell you what it would take away because I, there's so much of who I am that's drawing. I will draw until I cannot. I will draw until my legs give out completely. I will not stop. Only because I have nothing else I can do. I can't make anything. I can't fix anything. I can't do DIY. I, am, I can't cut two bits of wood the same length. I am useless at everything. Until my legs stop working, I will be drawing. And even then I'll try and find a way. It's kind of, I can't not. Yeah. <laughs>